Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here's a classic question for you guys. We are going to see if the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the nth power is equal to what? Well, notice that this right here is not geometry series because we have n on the top. If the top was equal to just 1, that would have been much easier, right? Because it's just geometry series. However, this is a classic question. And what we should do first is that we should see if this right here converges or not. And we can do so by using the ratio test. I'm going to leave that to you guys. I will just tell you guys that this right here does converge, and this converges by the ratio test. And what that means is that we will end up with a finite value, and we can actually find out what the finite value is. Anyway, as always, please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try this right here, and let me tell you guys that the answer to this right here is equal to 2. So, I will also show you guys two ways to do it though. The first way is the more classic way. Here we go. So what we do first is just plug in some n values and just expand it. So I will put in 1 into the n, so we have 1 over 2 to the first power, and then we just continue, plus 2 over 2 to the second, plus 3 over 2 to the third, plus 4 over 2 to the fourth power, and plus da da da, and so on, of course. And because we know this right here does converge, so we can say this right here is equal to some finite value, I will just call that to be S, stands for sum. Okay. Now, here's the deal. Everybody knows 1 plus 1 is equal to 2, but I know 2 is the same as 1 plus 1. So, I'll look at this 2 right here, and we'll break this apart as 1 plus 1. And then for this 3 right here, again, we'll do the same thing. This is 1 plus 2, and for the 4 right here, I'll put this down as 1 plus 3. Sometimes when you are dealing with an infinite series, maybe you'll find the infinite series in self itself. I will show you guys what I mean by that. So that's why we want to do this. And here's the deal. We'll write it out for you guys. This right here is 1 over 2 to the first power. And then let me write down 1 over 2 to the second right here. And then we have 1 over 2 to the second right here as well. So let's put that down. And we'll continue. Now, look at the red part. Doesn't that look familiar? Kind of, huh? because the power on the bottom is kind of different. But we can make things happen. Look at the part in black. This, 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 and that. And the next one will be what? 1 over 2 to the 5th power. And just add them up. And earlier, as I told you, we didn't have a geometry series, but now we do. Much better. Anyway, let's put the part in black first. And then, the next part is that I'm going to add this, 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 and that, 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 all right? Notice that though, this, this, and that are almost the same as the original. But the power on the bottom is slightly too big. 2 to the second. 2 to the 3rd, 2 to the 4th. But it's okay, because let me just factor out a 2 on the bottom. So I will put down 1 half, parentheses, and now this inside will just be 1 over 2 to the 1st power. And then this right here will be plus 2 over 2 to the 2nd power. And then this right here is plus 3 over 2 to the 3rd power. Because thanks to that, and then plus that, that, that. And then this right here is, of course, still equal to S. So far, so good, right? And now, here's the best part. This right here is the geometry series. Namely, we can use our best friend to do this. So to do so, just look at the first term, which is 1 over 2, and divided by 1 minus the common ratio. And the common ratio is just 1 half. So this right here does converge to this, because again, the common ratio is just 1 half, so it does converge. And then we add, this is 1 half. And earlier, we see this part. This is very nice, because this is just equal to s. This is just the original. So I can put down the s right here, and then this right here is, of course, still equal to s. So this is what I mean by, sometimes when we have an infinite series, the original s, you can break it apart, and you'll see the infinite series itself, itself right? just like this. We can work this out, and we'll just get 1, and then this is plus 1 over 2s equals s, minus 1 half s on both sides, so we have 1 half s equals 1. So just minus 1 and put that, yeah, all that. Multiply both sides by 2. s is equal to 2. So that means that was equal to 2. Very, very nice. All right, so now, to do the second way, we have to utilize our best friend. We know that 1 over 1 minus x is our best friend. And this right here is the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the nth power. 
like this. We are just going to differentiate our best friend like this. And one of the properties of the best friend is that if you differentiate the best friend, you just have to square that. So the left hand side, you end up with 1 over 1 minus x squared. Very nice. And on the right hand side, when you differentiate this, we can just put the power to the front and then minus 1. Check this out though, we end up with the sum. And because if you have n is equal to 0 right here, you first put down n times x to the n minus 1 power, right? But if n is equal to 0, the first term is equal to 0, so technically you can just start with n is equal to 1, and then goes up to infinity. So that's the deal like this. And now, hmm, is this the same as that? Well, almost. Here we can just pick a value for this right here. Right here. And remember that the best friend will work if the absolute value of x is less than 1. And again, that's exactly what we did right here as well. And when you differentiate that, let me tell you, the radius of convergence stays the same. What we can do is, we can just put in x is equal to 1 half. And let me put this down first, which is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And we have n times 1 half to the n minus 1 power. You see the n and all the of the power. And this is equal to, here we have 1 over parentheses 1 minus 1 half, and we square that. And now on the left hand side, this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity. And this is n on the top over, well, this is just 1. And we have 2 to that power, 2 to the n minus 1 power. And this right here is equal to the left hand side. Let's do this in our head. This right here will be what? 1 over 2. Right? Inside of the parentheses, you square that, you get 1 over 4. And then you do the reciprocal. So this right here is actually 4. Man, this is not 2. Don't worry. This is 2 to the n minus 1 power. So what we have to do is the following. Well, you can just break this apart if you like. You can just look at this as 2 to the nth power times 2 to the negative 1 power. So that means you have a 2 to the negative 1 power on the bottom. So that means you have a 2 on the top, and you have the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the nth power, and this is equal to 4. So how can we get rid of this 2? Of course, don't say minus 2. Uh, we have to multiply both sides by 1 half, so they cancel out. <laughs> and then in the end, we see that this is the sum as n goes from 1 to infinity of n over 2 to the nth power. Haha, -ha. that's exactly what we want. That's equal to 1 half of 4. Man, that's hard. Ah, I think the answer is 2. That's it! Okay, before we go, I have another question for you guys. What's the value for 3 to the 100 plus 3 to the 100 plus 3 to the 100 over 3 to the 101 minus 3 to the 100 minus 3 to the 99th power? Well, if you guys want to figure this out, you can come to brain.org and try to answer this question. I will leave this to you guys. This is an excellent website. They focus on math and science, and they have a lot of interactive courses, over 50 of them. Let me show you guys one of my favorite ones. That is the probability course. And you know, sometimes probabilities can be really, really confusing and really, really like counterintuitive. But if you guys come here and try them out, you will see that the questions will really help you to understand everything that you need to know about probabilities. And besides probabilities, you guys can also come here and try the geometry course. And geometry sometimes can be just as confusing or maybe just as hard as probabilities. But again, if you guys come here to try them out, you guys will see how they walk you through each and every question with details that you need. And if you guys would like to more, you guys can use the link brain.work slash blackpenredpen because this way you guys can get a 20% off discount to the annual premium subscription. And I will have the link down below in the description for you guys. And thank you guys for watching and thank you guys for checking out brain.work. Let me know which approach that you like more. Right? So leave a comment down below in the middle. So as always, that's it.